Kopana Fiti. He! And it's from here. Kana! <laughs> See? Oh, yeah, that's hey, good. I'm a, I'm a, a official. Now a certified yeah, yeah. official. Kiwi? Kiwi's good. There we go. All right. What's up? Man. Steve, yeah, yeah. it's very good to meet you, brother. You too, man. I'm still coming right. over there. I, I guess, yeah. hey, just want you guys to know sometimes we get people coming from around the world. This guy's coming from all the way in New Zealand, okay, to come visit. What, uh, Steve, you have anything to say? I'm oh, just what, happy what, to be here. Why, why'd you come here? Oh, because I've been watching the YouTube. You know, instead of training, I watch YouTube, and this bloke seems real. I gotta come. Yeah, it's real. It's the Golden Fleece. That's awesome. So, very good to meet you. And uh, yeah, it's fun to meet people from all around the world. They come in and uh, we get to share and share stories. And uh, we learn a lot. We learn a lot from each other. All right. Awesome. Appreciate yeah. it. Cool. Very good meeting you. Thank you. Still jiu -jitsu. No, no, you already did, coach. I <laughs> just call us jujitsu nerds. Okay. Um, Eric, I think I'm going to use you because uh, you were here last night. Okay, so. I veer off the little path of what is in the the bit the the, the, the Bible of Jiu Jitsu or whatever the canon the whatever whatever I don't know First Seth, Thess Thessalonians whatever you guys get here and we get a gift wrap we're able to get here now the standard moves that everyone teaches are basically get real tight like this chair sit and then either hooks in the middle and choke or body triangle, if you're a body triangle guy. Or the other move everyone learns is some form of either let go of the gift wrap and push the head, or lasso off the head and then go for an arm bar, okay? Th that's your basic move. Everyone does it, no matter what jujitsu school, they're gonna learn this. I think I have a better move. Seriously, I really think it's better than, than uh, that stuff because it keeps everything in the in play and I'm gonna say this if you guys go for an arm bar There's nothing wrong with arm bars. I love them But when you guys lasso off or you do this number or whatever when you do this I would, uh, Can you hold your hands just for a second? Okay, good What do you think he practices? When he practices arm bar defense Where does he position himself for arm bar defense a lot in his training because this guy trains jiu-jitsu for 10 years do you think he's ever gonna be in this position? Every freaking day of on bar defense. He practices stuff from here. I don't know if you know anything, know much. You're pretty new. Sometimes people will elbow and put your leg between the legs and then he'll turn into me and the, my knees will come apart and he'll get his elbow out. Some people will do the hitchhiker escape. He'll break the grip. He'll turn the thumb. He'll run away from you and go to his knees. Go, 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 go. Not that way, the other way, the other way, the other way. And he'll get out. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Right? In other words, he's familiar. This is a familiar position. Everyone does this. I'm not saying arm bars don't work. You see them finished all the time. But this position is practiced by everyone. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna attempt, is to create a position that he's not used to training in. So watch this. I get a gift wrap. I get to the technical mount. I do not lasso off the head. Because the moment you lasso off the head or you release and, and try to go for this armbar, he automatically, armbar bells start going, bing, 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 armbar, armbar, armbar. Simple. All I do is straighten my elbows, just like I do on a kimura to control. Sometimes you don't pull the kimura. You straighten it to keep them down, okay, to keep them from turning into you. So I just straighten my elbows. I flare my foot out and I sit on my butt. If he tries to turn into me, he can't. And look at my foot control right here. Then I take my right heel and I put it right over his shoulder. And now it's real simple. I, I he keep, no, no, he can fight, yeah. He can, he can try to bring that hand inside. I cross. Now I loop off. I only loop off until I get this position. This looks a lot like gi jujitsu. If you guys have not trained in the gi, you do not understand that there's a choke right here called a bow and arrow. A lot of people do this. You're holding the leg and you're choking and your heel's on top of the shoulder. It's kind of a combo. It's weird, like, kind of like thing that I got kind of from my gi training a little bit, but now I hold here. Now I lasso off. 
and I never pass my right leg over his head when I armbar. So I keep everything in play. He holds his hands, I break his grip, he tries to move, I keep my legs tight, and I armbar like this. Teach me grappling, what's up guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. I never pass my leg over, why? Because one moment I do this, he has all of his movements. Do you, hitchhike, like go that way. I'm not saying I can't counter hitchhike. I can control thumb, I can do all, go back, go back, rewind. I can, I can counter that, but what I'm trying to tell you is, this is a position. See it? If he turns, some guys are, are tough. They bridge over your leg when you're trying to armbar them, and then they turn into you. And when he turns into me, see what's happening? What happens if he gets up right now? Just start to hit triple A, get up. That triangle comes in. See that? The arm bar's still there, the original, and it's tighter, okay? So we still have all those possibilities. I'm gonna get into it one more time and show you the entry again. Gift wrap, stab it into the mount. I'm, I'm here, I'm like, oh, this is the time. It's time to go. Right heel, right over that. My right heel over that right there. I don't pull when I sit. If you pull, he'll roll right on top of you. He'll roll right on top of you and you'll go, oh coach, I can't do it. Straighten your elbows. Boom, try to turn, try to turn, try to turn, try to turn. Heel goes over, I cross, I loop off, and now he's gotta play with a million different positions. As I pull, if his legs ever start to like, uh, kind of angle this way, this can happen. This kind of triangle. Uh, this is what Wagner Horsha calls like the slot machine. You know the slot, you've been to Vegas? Slot machine, <laughs> you break this arm right here. If you guys want, you can get up and go bop, 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 bop. Give me that leg. Some people call this the trash compactor, okay? You just pull the leg and I, you don't care. It's gonna hurt the guy's neck, it's gonna choke him, it's gonna hurt his knee, it's gonna get a hamstring stretch, whatever. We just want him to tap. So when I get to this position, why take the back? Oh, take the back, choke him, huh? Watch, sometimes when I do this, I flare out, I straighten, he try, try to move, try to go somewhere. I put my heels here, and he now knows the arm bar is coming. So he bridges up, and I go. You guys see what I'm talking about? Arm trapped, isn't that what we always want when we're on the back? We were just talking about this with Jason a second ago. Wouldn't we love to have an arm trapped? Because now it's two against one and this guy can't get in the game. So his chin goes down and he tries to hide and you just trace that jawline and then get up here and then boom. And it's up to you if you want to use this, palm to palm or the one handed grab and pull. Okay. So I like this position a lot because it keeps everything going. I've got arm bars, triangles, rear naked chokes, and this uh, back triangle, backside triangle, like reverse triangle. So all you're gonna do here, straighten your elbows, sit down, put your heel over. He has to do his best. Try to avoid this. See that? Now I cross. Now I never let that other arm get in the game. And then once I'm here, oh, he's giving me the back. If you wanna slide down to avoid the choke, you can. If he slides down to avoid this choke, do you understand? Slide down before I choke you. He slides down, what do we do? And just arm bar. You guys see it? You're more than welcome to do a standard arm bar. But again, my opinion, why? He's locked. Don't let him get out. Don't give him a chance to run his playbook on what? His arm bar defense playbook. He has one. Do you have one? Everyone should have an armbar defense playbook. Don't let him run his playbook. Put him in a position, he's going, what the hell? 
my head's in, but I can't move this shoulder and you're pulling on my arm. I don't know what to do. You get more taps that way. Let's go, ready? We've shown this before. Right. Update. Um, still works. <laughs> Try it guys. Um, I believe this is a great position. I don't know what, I don't have a name for it at all. It's just kind of what I do in the technical mount with a kip wrap. I mean, it's, you're already there, you know, so it's not anything super magical. I mean, like if you got that far in your grappling, you're already in a kill position, but I think it makes killing easier. So go out there and kill them a little bit easier. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.